How should your, uh, your presentations be organized? Once you've got your pitch down and, uh, and you're really good at communicating your vision and your mission and, and what you do for a living to one person at a time, now it's, it's time to consider doing presentations that also further your mission. So how are those presentations organized? Well, of course, you've got an opening. You're going to uh, start with um, something that draws the audience into you. Uh, it might many people uh, start with a joke. That's that's not me. I'm not good at that. Although um, uh, I I can be funny, and there's a difference between telling a joke and being funny. Um, so sometimes I am funny at the beginning of my presentations just because I know people in the room or because something happened as I walked in or something happened along the way on, on my way there. Um, but start with something that's uh, either inspiring or, or funny, uh, something to draw the audience into you and make you uh, human with that audience. Um, second, you're going to give them a preview of what they've come to hear. You're going to tell them what you're going to tell them. Um, and then you start into the body of your presentation. So now you're telling them what you're telling them. Um, that should be followed, or maybe it's interspersed inside the body, but if not, then it should be followed by questions and answers. And, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Um, don't ever be afraid to tell someone you don't know the answer to a question. Um, and you might want to tell them that you can look it up for them. You can check it out and, and get back to them. That's one way to get their, uh, their uh, contact information if you're looking for that kind of thing. So that's number four, questions and answers. Number five, um, a summary. So this is where you tell them what you told them and you remind them of the salient points that you want the, them to take away with them. And then finally, you've got your, uh, your closing, your, um, your in inspiring uh, call to action. Um, always include a call to action. What do, you, what do you hope to get out of what you, the presenter, hope to get out of this presentation? Uh, give that some thought and uh, uh, drive it home with your inspiring call to action. And that's how you organize your first presentation.